Peace and blessing, brother love show family. I got another quick video over here I want you to check out. It seems like the powers that be is trying to put us back 40, 50 years. They're trying to group us. They're trying to put us in, in little clusters. Hmm, kind of strange. Let's talk about it, brother love show. Nonprofit Parents Defending Education has filed federal civil rights complaints against two public schools in Colorado and Illinois for holding racially segregated student activities. The organization alleged that Centennial Elementary School in Denver, Colorado engaged in racial discrimination, violating Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment when it promoted a Families of Color Playground Night. A sign at the entrance of the school's campus advertised the event, according to a photo captured by PDE. The activity reportedly had been organized on a monthly basis, with gatherings scheduled for October 13, November 10, December 8, and presumably the second Wednesday of every month following. The point of contact for the event was Nicole Tembrock, the school's dean of culture, according to the school's calendar. PDE makes this complaint as an interested third-party organization that opposes racial discrimination and political indoctrination in America's schools, the group wrote in a press release. The second incident cited in PDE's claim was Downers Grove South High School's Students of Color Field Trip Opportunity in Illinois. Qualified students would travel to Jefferson Middle School to learn about the education career path from a person of color's experience, according to a screenshot of the flyer obtained by PDE. Now, that don't sound too bad. I think that um, the people who need to see that probably is all races, all students. It shouldn't just be, it should be everybody could see how a person of color go deal with this situation. They, I mean, don't, don't leave nobody out. The complaint against the Illinois school also alleged racial discrimination based on the Civil Rights Act and 14 Amendment. Both schools receive federal funding. In other examples of anti-racist racial segregation, a Massachusetts middle school offered three safe spaces after Kyle Rittenhouse's acquittal, one of which was designed chiefly for students of color. Why would students of color need a safe space after the Rittenhouse verdict? Parents. Parents, people, get down in the comments and let me know. Do black children need safe spaces? Do they need to be, do they need a safe space? Just a question I'm asking. I mean, I don't know. The three sessions included reactions to verdicts, hearing and learning from peers, rumor control room, facts presented in cases, today's laws, and final verdicts. Don't that sound like, don't that sound political? Don't that sound like, Policy, politics, political stuff. Don't, I'm just saying. And questions and discussion for students of color. Earlier this month, PDE launched a civil rights complaint against New York City public schools after one school said it would separate students into five racial affinity groups as part of a social justice exercise. Did you hear that? Now, what parents signed off on that? Did they get parents? Did you, did you get permission to do that? I'm sure they didn't seek the parents' permission to do this social study program. I'm sure they didn't get the parents' permission for this. this. See, this is the problem. This is the indoctrination that they're doing. This is the confusion and, and the segregation that they're bringing back that we already got over. The meeting categories included Asians, whites, multiracial students, black and Hispanic students, and students who decided to be unclassified. <laughs> 